grab your overpriced popcorn and your large drink, head into the cinema, sit down, and you go watch a film. And the film starts exactly on time, the lights come up at exactly the right time, and the curtains open at exactly the right time. How does this all happen? Well, I've had the opportunity to have a look at how projection and cinemas work in 2017, and I thought I'd take you through how that works. Quick history lesson on projectors. Obviously everyone's familiar with the concept of um, having the film come in on the reel and that actually come into multiple reels because films became so long and then the projectionist would have to splice them together and then have them all run seamlessly to actually show the film on the screen. So they essentially the uh, projectionist loaded them into this big reel here and that ran the film and projected it onto the screen. If you had a movie, let's say Dunkirk, in this cinema for this, uh, for the one, uh, like a one o'clock session, then at a three o'clock session you had it in a different cinema, you'd have to pick up the whole reel, take it to the cinema and load it into that projector. Nowadays it's all just digital files and all running on digital cinema. So here we have the LMS, or Library Management System, which is a big server or computer, and it has about 10 terabytes of storage on it. Holds all the content that we've had for the last couple of months, including movies, trailers, ads, and sends them out to all the different cinema servers uh, each week, depending on what that cinema has in, in playing on that screen in that particular week. So we come through at the start of the week or when the films come in, put them in these hard drive bays and hit ingest, and it essentially copies that film onto the server and allows us to send it out to the other cinemas. We've got the same thing with ads, which come on USBs because they're smaller, and then it allows us to set up the, um, the different trailers and the different ads to play with particular films or in particular cinemas uh, throughout the week. So that's the LMS. So each film has a particular playlist. So if we look at the film Dunkirk here, we can see we've attached different ads to it. So I've got an ad, then we've got a trailer for Hampstead here, some more ads, trailer for The Dark Tower, then a trailer for uh, Victorian Abdul, the film. Then we've got the, the thing that says please turn off your mobile phone and then after that the film starts. So from there all the content is sent to each of the cinemas. Each of the cinemas has its own server which is basically a computer which controls what's on the cinema for that week and what order everything will be played in and how everything runs. That computer sends out uh, the image and the video to the projector, sends out the audio to the uh, sound processing, all the different speakers, the amplifiers and things like that and then also sends out the commands to open the curtains, turn the lights up and things like that. So the first part of this process is the projector, which is obviously the main part of any cinema. Here we've got a Barco 2K projector, which is a slightly higher resolution than Full HD to account for when movies are especially wide and they've got extra pixels on the left and right. Uh, it projects the image, it's got a lamp in the middle here, and then that projects the image through a lens, which, is, um, which depends on the cinema and the size of the screen, and then that goes onto the screen, and which is what you view. It's got a couple of different functions. Um, you can plug in like your laptop or an Xbox and it works out the exact format, whether it's a widescreen content or it's more of a more square content. Um, other than that, the projector doesn't really handle much of the um, actual like grabbing of the movie. It's not like a TV where it tunes to the TV station or you play a DVD. It literally just projects the content um, and whatever you have plugged into it. So here we have the server or the computer that runs everything. It has all the films, all the trailers, all the ads, controls the sound, controls the projector, and controls all the lighting coming on, the curtains opening, etc. So as you can see here, we've got all the movies that are currently on this projector. Uh, you can see there's Baby Driver, Dunkirk, Paris Can Wait, and The Big Sick. And then every week this updates, depending on what movies are in this particular cinema for that week. This controls pretty much everything. So if we go through the different screens here, we've got playback, you can see this is when a film is running, you can hit play, you can pause it, you can rewind, just kind of like a DVD player. You can go through to schedule and see what's on for the day and what's on for the rest of the week. And this is all done automatically, so there never actually has to be a projectionist or anyone here. And then we finally go to control, whereas if you manually want to open the curtains or turn the lights up, you can do all that from this screen. So we've got a couple of key pieces of equipment here in the audio rack. The main one is the digital cinema processor here, and all the audio inputs run into this. So out of the projector, it sends the 5.1 channels of surround sound to this digital cinema processor, and that applies an equalizer to each of the channels to make it sound the best for the room, and that would be tuned by an audio technician, and then it sends that audio out to each of the amplifiers which run each of the speakers. You've also got a couple of other features with the digital cinema processor. So if I wanted to run my Xbox or I plug in my laptop and have audio run through the cinema, you'd plug that in here too. We also use it for things like uh, running a microphone at the front of the cinema, um, or if I had this old projector hooked up, that would also control the audio for that. 
So thanks for watching this video on how cinemas work in 2017. Hopefully it gave you something interesting to look at and um, it taught you something new about what happens when you sit down and watch a film. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up uh, just down below and subscribe for more videos like this.